Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another FSR 3 video. Renewal FSR 3 video. So this one is for the Dying Light 2 Reloaded Edition or the version 1.5.3. Uh, so I managed to reduce the flicker by like uh, 90 to 95%. Now it's very stable. I'm not running the game right now because I don't want to show you like the previous FPS. You guys can already see that in the previous videos. So I was having like 70 to 80 fps without the mod uh, and every preset was set on like high so yeah let's begin the modding and i will show you like how to fix the issue and everything so we're gonna extract this zip uh, at the desktop then we're gonna copy everything then go to the installation directory of dying like 2 <coughs> then go to ph work bean x64 uh, and we're gonna paste everything here now after pasting we're gonna just uh, run the game from the desktop shortcut uh, don't run the game from this installation folder we're gonna run the game from the desktop shortcut and we're gonna close the box and edit the text tweak like we uh, did do like uh, regularly so there uh, we have closed the config file now we're gonna go to the file location and edit the fsr to fsr 3 config with notepad and turn the fake nvidia gtu to true now we're gonna click on file save and now we're gonna run the game again from the desktop shortcut <coughs> okay so we're back in the game and the pc is now around 120 and 30 <coughs> without the frame generation i was getting around 60 to 70 so now if i go to the video setting and show you the options like it is on dlss quality and frame generation is enabled and if i come back to the game and if i show you the hood like it's uh, flickering yeah it's uh, not very bad but it's still uh, flickering so to fix this uh, hood um, like uh, even by 90% to 80% to 90% uh, we're gonna go to uh, option video now follow me step by step first uh, you will need to reduce the hood size because uh, if you reduce the hood size the icon will be smaller and your flicker will be less so reduce the hood size to maybe 90 or maybe even 85 if you like but i'm just gonna save it to 90 and after that uh, if you have like dlss sharpness turn that off and after that uh, also scroll down a little bit and then you will see motion blur effect we're gonna turn that to zero now click on save <coughs> so just turn off the frame generation once and then turn on the frame generation again now come back to the game and now as you can see the hood flicker is now very less it's like 90 uh, percent uh, fixed uh, you are you can see the follow hack on or the wait, let me show the energy bar there the energy bar uh, like it's also um, fixed very much it's totally playable it's very much stable like uh, not very much flickering now also there is another way but uh, i don't find that very pleasing like uh, if you go to the option then go to video um, and set the upscaler to fsr the flicker is fixed like 100 percent but the input latency is a little bit higher i don't know if that because of the fsr2 input latency like uh, by default the nvidia uh, what do you say the <coughs> reflex by default uh, nvidia uses the reflex latency mode so maybe that's why it's happening also the hood will get stuck to your ui if you use fsr so yeah better use dlss with like the 5 to 10 percent of hood flicker I was just gonna stuck with the DLSS and yeah, come back to the game and we're gonna just play it uh, for a one to two minute so the video really ends here uh, if you like this uh, subscribe to the channel and yeah if you face any kind of issue comment down below also join the discord for more and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers So, you have an army here?
Ugh, the peacekeepers. They treat people like that too. Watch out for them. They guard the tunnel you want to go through. I'll proceed with caution. Good. Though it might not help. The PK are a pain. <sighs> the Stand in the light. 